Lion's Gate is peak fiction, and it's one of those rare animes where everyone could easily say the same thing about the show. I mean, hell, that's why it has like a number three or four rating on my anime list, if that matters to any of you. But yeah, Lion's Gate is represented as one of the best sci-fi anime shows and psychological thrillers out there and i'm gonna tell you why i love this show so much and why you should watch it i'm trying my best to avoid spoilers but don't be surprised about spoilers and i'll give you one like usual so let's get straight into me oh whoa, whoa. now if you haven't heard or seen it i'll quickly go over the plot in this sentence <clears throat> a mad scientist hacking into the government caused crazy ass problems and that's Thon's gate, yes sir. But now let me go deeper in the series so you start off in this series with the scientist named reen okabe you may think he's odd. He, he shouts out a lot of his catchphrases and, you know, gets annoying sometimes. But, hey, he's a confident man and he's also a great friend. In the first few episodes of Stein's Gates, we get to learn more about him and his friends and people we meet along the way. Sounds peaceful, right? I didn't even mention Kirisu. So, in the first episode, we meet this girl named Kirisu, a.k.a. Christina. And in one of the first scenes, she struck a nerve with Okabe because she challenged him and his theories, you know, in his science class. And therefore, she <laughs> that kind of made her his like number one enemy. So, <laughs> yeah, that's how we get introduced to her. But we realized that she's smart and definitely could challenge Okabe, this mad scientist. I want to find out moments fucking later. Oh my God, she is dead. Like, what the hell happened? Like, yeah, she literally just next moment we see her, she's just dead. And like, I will get descriptive, but you know, don't want to get demonetized. But yeah, we find out that she's dead, and Uncle Bay realizes, and he just freaks out, of course. But in that same episode, Uncle Bay decides to send a text message, what they call a D mail in this show, and that sends him back in time without him knowing. It just randomly happens. He sends a text message and he goes back in time. And now he has to figure all this stuff out. So I won't really go over like how that happens because well, well, one, it's old, like about 10 years old almost. And then two, I kind of want you all to watch it so you know you can figure out yourselves. But yeah, that's where it stops stuff at in the first episode. So people are already saying like, whoa, this took like a dark turn already. And yeah, so that's why anime hooks you. But if you have watched it, now I'm gonna talk about my favorite moments and why I think this show is peak. And now, like I said, going on, I'm probably gonna mention spoilers. I tried, but you know, I gotta get my point across. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, you wanna watch it, go ahead and leave. If you have watched it, then you know what I'm saying? Keep watching it and enjoy. So yeah, that being said, let's go. So one of the special qualities I think about this show is the dark nature of it. Now, this is probably easily top five Probably top three, one of the darkest animes I've watched. But it doesn't start out like that, because I, I could best classify this show as like a slice of life gone wrong. The basis of it is a scientist trying to explore the depths of discovering new things, which is what actual you know scientists do. And while discovering one of the top online organizations of the world, Stein, he decides to hack into it with the help of a friend, Daru, shout out to him. Now this causes a chain of catastrophic events to happen later on and with the ability Okabe discovered by sending a email text and it sends him back to the past. This ability he tries to prevent certain things from happening but this method changes things in the future whether it's good or bad. And you know how the saying goes, when you go back in time, any small changes could lead to a completely different future and well that applies here. Now that's just the basis of it because oh my god what happens throughout all of it is honestly mind blowing because one simple urge to hack into something causes you to lose everything. Okabe and his friends found themselves in a situation where it was them against the whole government and I could easily say that Steins Gate is one of the most intriguing shows because it was that too good to find out what's going to happen next. Who did this? Who's going to betray this? Who's going to be the person that revealed to be this evil person? Like it was crazy to watch i mean still to this day i'm binging those episodes to like 4 a.m and i don't do that often because i go to sleep a little early you know but yeah starting out the show was actually nice sometimes a goofy slice of life which people sometimes drop the series by then but to me i like to say those who haven't watched it yet appreciate those lighthearted episodes trust me you better appreciate those the beginning of the series introduced us to multiple characters and their relationships with one or another and in some cases in most cases it's pretty good you know most people in the show are pretty much friendly to each other you know some uh in some cases some characters do not like each other at all you know and it definitely shows this but you know this is just normal life things that's going on and they are perfectly represented in this anime in the beginning of the season besides the first half of the episode nothing really dark happens for a while 
while we see Okabe trying to figure out how he went back in time while we see more side characters and learn their background. First, let's talk about Kirisu, one of my favorite characters in the show, a person who truly challenges and has a nice dynamic with Okabe, and she's also a nice, chill Sunida, who honestly won my heart because by the end of the series, I loved her character a lot, and simply because she was ride or die for my man Okabe the whole series, and I also like her personality as well, too. And also, she's very smart, but less crazy as Okabe, you know, and sometimes anime, you don't really get those female representations like Kurosu, honestly. She often challenges Okabe's idealistic ways, but sometimes helps him out with different machines. He's tackling on different theories he's coming up with and helping him solve. And I also like to add, they are really great. They were like, I'm talking about Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, wait, never mind. Back comparison. Oh, whoa, whoa. You can go from a character from her to Mayuri, who's, I swear, to loving God, the most adorable thing in this world, bro. She is a character who is just being in her own world and also loves hanging with her friends and especially Okabe. She has a job, I was playing all the time and literally just enjoying life, an easy, happy-go-lucky girl. We also realized that one of her goals is to make more friends because there's a reason why, you know, she's so close to Okabe. Because in the backstory, they talked about he met her and how she was alone. And, you know, it just, it gets more in depth than that. You should watch it and find out. But yeah, I think, you know, it's not even like that crazy of a backstory. Just a small thing that happened just reveals, like, how this character is honestly strong to keep, like, in this happy go lucky mood you know, with the backstory that she had. And we have more cool nerds like Suzuha and Daru. These two actually got a lot in common. And if you watch Steins Gate Zero, you know what I'm talking about. And, but yeah, Suza is a skilled ninja who knows a lot about time travel. And Daru is a tech nerd and he loves women. <laughs> like I'm talking about love women, I mean. <laughs> You can say like his definition of a simp, but like, yeah. Back in those times when the show came out, yeah, that you can sit in those simps. And there are more characters that come along the way that I could spend forever talking about, but I'll just quickly mention them. Uh, you got Luca, Ferris, Hugo, the, the store manager, and his daughter. They're all good characters in their own right, but, you know, I think these characters I mentioned earlier are, like, the ones that shine the most and the one that, the one that stood out to me the most. Okay, now I think this part of the video is, like, technically only for, like, people that watch Times Gate because I'm about to give some major spoilers right here, so, yeah, good luck. Um... Okay, so I've been reading around in the bush and about the events that takes place, so I'm just going to give you a hypothetical scenario. Now, I'm not spoiling with, lo well, no major spoilers, but, you know, you can put two and two together, and if this don't get you to watch the show, I don't know what will. All right, now, so, okay, after you sent a D-mail that accidentally set you back in the time, you begin to figure out why did all this happen. You then spend hours upon hours, days upon days, doing a ton of research and do testing experiments that scientists normally do. Day after day, you get closer and closer to the truth. But things are not going to be this easy. You're going to need some things to, you know, help you come to this conclusion. Which is then you realize you need an IBN 5100, which is a machine capable of reading the information stored in CERN's global monitoring system that scans all phones and text messages in the world of the key information related to the important topics. Whew, that was a lot to read. And alongside of this, you meet new friends and people in your life, and friends of friends that you never thought you'd be friends with, but you get closer to them and become damn near best friends. And then taking a break from all this research and just, you know, party and just hang out, go places with these new friends and just enjoying life. And then you go to this big party that your friend's been planning for a long time, and then, you know, it's pretty nice to enjoy with, you know, pretty nice celebration. You know, it's the great start to the new year, and then, boom, all of a sudden, a swarm of agents come flying to your party, and then, in one action, in one moment, everything changes, and you the first thing that comes to your mind is that I need to go back in time to solve this, so you go back in time, and you try to find different ways to prevent this certain, uh, let's just, let's just say death, this character death. Important, important character death. And as I mentioned earlier, don't go back in time and change one small thing because the future will be, you know, <laughs> changing a major way. And that sums up the second half of Steins Gate. So we gotta, it's been a long journey to figure out how will Okabe figure out and overcome all this and change things to make it back to normal. And oof, it is not an easy ride because, you know, you think about it and it's like, damn, how much more can this character give? And it's just honestly so intriguing and oof. Unforgettable. Yep, Steins Gates is history with so many plot twists and turns. I'll say this once again, if you was in Okabe's shoes, would you keep going or would you just give up? And you know what, with the final episode showing a big 180 plot twist to everything, it manages to tell a terrific story and arguably a perfect one at that.
a mystery that solves all the pieces while actually giving you more that you never knew you needed. And speaking of that, Steins Gate Zero. <laughs> Steins Gate Zero is a show that follows a cliffhanger on one of the final episodes of the original story. It came out years after the OG one, and you could say it's like a really good addition DLC to a story. Which, speaking of DLC, did you know Steins Gate has a game? Like a legit, a playable game. I think on DS or console. It's one, it was a game at one point. Ooh, oh my god, I'm telling you, Steins Gate is so goaded. Never played it, but you know, just... That, that's kind of cool. Anyways, while many say it's not as great as Steins Gate, and I agree, but I do think that if you love the OG show a lot, go ahead and check out Steins Gate Zero. Okay? It gives you more than you need it, and then, you know, more twists and turns as well. More depth to certain characters that the OG didn't focus on, and some characters, you know, take a different turn and different routes in the story. And, you know, it's just, like I said, a nice DLC. And finally, last thing I'm going to say is that this is one of my favorite animes of all time, and I'm glad it's regarded as such a great piece of fiction. And even though the journey was dreadful and really emotional, it still remains one of the most intriguing animes that I've ever watched or intriguing shows I watch in general. And I certainly hope y'all feel the same way too. Or if you have watched it, I hope you felt the same way. Anyways, that being said, I catch you on this one. That ends the Steins Gate review or video. Yeah. Bye. Whoa, whoa, watch Steins Gate. Oh, and zero. Oh, whoa. man. So, hope you enjoyed the Steins Gate video. And I just want to say thank y'all for support. And lately, you know, I've been doing a lot of things. And also, I'm still working on that second channel, man. I'm getting some 2K videos done. My WWE 2K videos are, you know, in the works. I'm working on some other Sonic videos for that channel and some other, like, just regular random games. I'm going to be doing more Smash Universe videos over there, too. And then just, you know, I'm going to see where that goes. And yeah, back to this uh, video, but yeah, I am got more analysis videos of different shows and characters on the way. I'm writing down some ones right now as we speak. And that Kagura video from Gintama is on the way, man. I'm telling you, I know I'm been slacking, I'm slacking, but it's on the way. But yeah, uh, if you're a fan of Steins Gate, comment down below your favorite moment. Well, spoiler, you know, or uh, your favorite characters. And take me for like Steins Gate Zero. Or Steins Gate, you know, tell me anything about Steins Gate or what you... What, or give me anime similar to Steins Gate. I think I know like quite a few, but you can comment down below if you want to. But yeah, that being said, that's kind of it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And got more bangers on the way, man. I'll catch y'all later, and I'm out, man. Oh, whoa, whoa.